Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today we'll be doing the second part of our black and white emerging powers booster box. We've got Naru in the background again. Now I don't actually put her here, I don't like put her here for the videos, she just happens to sleep here so I guess I'll let her stay. A lot of people are like, Psycho, I'm trying to watch the cat, your hands are in the way when I'm just opening the card packs and all that, but... Yeah, well, technically this is a Pokemon card video, not a cat video, but thank you for being the internet, internet and loving cats. But I'm gonna try to do this. Alright, let me go ahead and make my thumbnail real quick. Alright, looking pretty good. So I've actually got a bit of information about the set that I did not know last time. So first off, this set is actually the second black and white set. So this is the first set that was released after the base set. Now also yesterday I said that this was only the second black and white set that I've opened, but that is a lie because I actually opened Legendary Treasures before, which is the late, the, it's the newest black and white set. So going back in time a little bit for this one. Also, this set does not have EXs and it only has two ultra rares. It has a Thunderous and a uh, Tornadus Full Art, I believe. So we've got the Thunderous last time, so we're looking for that Tornadus Full Art. That would be super cool to get, but let's go ahead and get to our first pack. Uh, one other thing is that last time I called Braviary Rufflet, so my bad on that one. But let's go ahead and get to this first pack and see what we've got today. Probably going to go... Oops, just smacked you guys a little bit. Probably going to go a little bit quicker through the packs today since we've seen a lot of the commons and uncommons already at this point. But if we see anything new, then I'll go ahead and take some time on that. Alright, so our first card is a Gotharita. We've also got a Whirlipede. There's a Bianca. I don't remember if we got that one last time. Uh, here we have a Pan Sage. There's Cub Chew. Pat Rat. I feel like that one might be new as well, actually. We have a hey, Rufflet. Okay, so we've got the actual Rufflet. I believe uh, Rufflet evolves into Braviary. Here we have a Darumaka, a Deerling Reverse Hollow, and we've got a Simi Sage. All right, there's the first pack. Not too bad to start. I mean, nothing really special in there, but we've got a couple of new cards, so better than nothing. Okay, here's the second pack code card. Oh my gosh, I just know a lot of you guys just gonna wanna stare at the cat, but that's okay. I mean, whenever she just happens to be up here, I'll leave her up here for the videos. That's pretty much how we'll handle things here. But I am gonna record probably the whole rest of the booster box today, so she might be here for the whole video. Also, we finally went out and got her a collar, so you can kinda see it in there. It's You can see that little glint right there is the collar. It might like look, uh, look like it's a little tight, but it's just because she's super fluffy. There's plenty of room right there, you can fit. You're pretty much your whole hand through the collar, so she's just very skinny. We actually got her as a stray. Um, she just kind of showed up like a week ago, and we weren't going to take her in at first because we live in an apartment uh, complex, and you have to put down a big pet deposit, and you have to pay pet rent, so we weren't going to, but we were hoping someone else would take her in. No one was, and we decided to keep her after that, so I guess she's ours now. But here we've got a Sigilyph, there's a Clang, Max Potion, Drillbur, Siwaddle, Sandile, Gothita, We've got, someone said they said, uh, or someone said I pronounced the name of this Pokemon really funnily. I just say Pidove, is that wrong? Is it Pidove or Pidove or something? I don't know. Here we've got a Lilligant Reverse Hollow, very nice. And we have a Gothitelle. Cool, Mental Shock. Huh, and Smack, not Smackdown. They keep hyping up WWE Smackdown, I guess it's going live now. I didn't even know it wasn't live until like a month ago. I thought Smackdown was live as well, but I guess Smackdown was pre-recorded and they edited it down in crud. But I always, I never knew it was not live. Was it live back in the day? Has it always been pre-recorded? Because I, I mean, I've been watching SmackDown since I was a kid and I had no idea. But here we have a Gotharita, Basculin, Zorua, Panpour. We've got a Siwaddle, Clink, Ferroseed, Basculin again. We've got a Reverse Hollow Cub Chew Suey Art. And we've got an Excadrill Holographic with the line pattern. So that's a new holo right there. I think that's our th Third holographic, maybe? So, doing not too bad. Okay, this right here, this is Braviary. It's not Rufflet. But it actually is a very cool bird Pokemon. A lot of bird Pokemon I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, Braviary is pretty sick. Actually, if I ever play Gen 5 again, I'll probably try to get them. If there's something you can get pretty easily early on. Because I usually like to get the bird Pokemon pretty early on and just keep them on my team. Alright, here we've got a Watchog. We've got Tranquil. I think I like uh, Braviary more than Tranquil. I feel like Tranquil is more of the, uh, I don't know. I think I feel like Tranquil is more of the Pidgey and uh, Braviary is more of the uh, Spearow type. Here we've got a Basculin, Pan Sage, Kepchu, Patch Rat. There's a Rufflet. There's Darumaka, Whimsicott Reverse Hollow, and we've got a Crocodile, which is surprisingly not a holographic. Crocodile even has like its own uh, box set in Gen Six. So I'm kind of surprised in Gen 5 he's not even a holographic in this set. But there you go, Crocodile. Let's see, we've got 
five packs left to go, so we're just about halfway through this one. And thankfully, there seems to be no more stuff that Naru can knock over to bonk on our head. So hopefully we can avoid that this time. All right, here is that little dude. Okay, and we have a Swaddaloon. Is Swaddaloon, is that meant to be like swaddling where you like wrap up babies in crud? I think that's what it's meant to be. Here we've got a Pokemon Catcher, Gotharita, another Deerling, there's Cottony, Basculin. We've got so many Basculin. I think there's two or three different Basculin arts, but there was Patrat, Ferroseed, another Swaddaloon. I think this is actually a different Swaddaloon. Let me get the first one. Yep, we've got two Swaddaloons here. So I guess this set is definitely one of those sets that has lots of Pokemon with the, the, the same Pokemon, but uh, different versions, different art. And we've also got a Darmanitan. So I actually got the name of this guy right last episode. I'm pretty sure I said Darmanitan. So there you go. I feel like I'm there we go, I wasn't quite focused in right, so when I was a little bit closer, it was a little bit out of focus. It happens. Oh well. Okay, so we got four packs left to go, and this one, I can already see a Whirlipede up front here, but we'll get to that in a second. Oh my gosh, yesterday I asked you guys what your least favorite Pokemon was, and some people have had some very, very passionate responses. It was a little crazy. I, I was not expecting such passion out of that, but sometimes it happens. Here we've got a Zoroa, Crushing Hammer. Drillbur, Venipede, Ferroseed, Vullaby. We've got a Pansier. That looks different. I don't know if we had a Pansier yet. We have Emolga. That also looks different, so I think it's our first Emolga. Saucebuck, Reverse Hollow Rare. Very cool. And we got a Leveny with X Scissor. I think Scissor, X Scissor is an actual move, right? A lot of the attacks in the Pokemon TCG are obviously not in the game. Pretty much every Pokemon just has their own attacks with. Uh, different names and all that, but sometimes the attacks are things that are actually in the game, but not super often. Let's look at this Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon on this little pole here, and we'll see if we got anything from the actual game. So there we go, we got Wing Attack, we've got Claw and Wing Attack. I don't think Claw's an attack. Powerful Slap and Heal Pulse. I'm pretty sure Powerful Slap is not an, a move, maybe Heal Pulse is, I'm not sure. We've got Gnaw and Double Razor Leaf, not sure if any of those are moves. Thundershock is definitely, uh, Acrobatics, not so much. We've got Roost. Roost is a real move. Rain Splash? I don't think so. Uh, collect and Scratch. Scratches, but Collect is not. Headbutt and Reckless Charge? I think Headbutt is. So it looks like a lot of these Pokemon have one real move and one random move. Here we've got a Flail and Final Gambit, so once again, one real move. Ram and Rising Lunge. I don't know if either of those are real, but that's our Reverse Hollow Zorua. And we've got a Terrakian Holographic with a Boulder Crush and Sacred Sword. This Pokemon can't use Sacred Sword during your next turn. Oh well, this is actually, this set is before the modern day uh, EXs. The EXs that we know today, they were introduced in the black and white sets, but not quite yet. So, Pokemon cards got a lot more powerful after those EXs were released. There were EXs previously, I mean as far back as Generation 3 there were EXs, but not the ones we know today. The EXs that we know today were introduced later on in Generation 5. So if I keep opening new Generation 5 sets, we'll eventually get to those. Okay, here we've got a Sinchino. There's Bulldor. Okay, back-to-back -back Bulldor. Are they both? They are both uncommon, so I guess that happens. We've got a Gothita, a Purloin. There's Cottony, Panpour. We've got Pansage. Can we get Pansier? No, we got a Reverse Holographic Rufflet and a Clean Clang. A lot of people do not like Clean Clang, but I don't know. I don't really mind the object type Pokemon. I think I said that last time as well. Never really bugged me too much. You know, Magnemite and Voltorb and Kling Clang and Vanillux and all that kind of stuff. Eh, doesn't bug me. I, I think they're okay. But, I don't know. I don't think every Pokemon needs to be an animal. I think that uh, things can have some variety, you know? No problem to me. Okay, this is actually the last pack for today, guys. Let's see what we got. We have a Cheren, which we've already got him before. We've got a Throw. There's Swadaloon. Pharaoh Seed. Clink. We have a Petalil. There's another Deerling. So many Deerling. We've got a Venipede. Ooh, Un Pheasant Reverse Holographic. And the last card of the video is a Bear Tick Holographic. Cool. So I think we got three Hollows today. Did not get any more Full Arts, but I'm pretty sure these boxes only have two usually, so we'll probably get one more. I just have to hope that it is not another Thunderous. Hopefully we'll get a Tornadus, but holographics are the other main thing we're looking for in this set, so cool to see another holographic right here with Bear Tick, and I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with nine more packs, maybe a full art ultra rare, and probably some more sleeping cats. I'll see you guys then. Take care.